Mopar fans, I hope everybody out there is having a fantastic time, and I wish everybody a happy new year. So before we get started, please, if you have not yet hit that subscribe button, please hit that subscribe button and tap the bell button for the notifications so you don't miss any future Mopar content. Also, there is new shirts and hoodies available at the Frostbite store, so please check the link in the description below and go check them out. So let's get started. So this video today, guys, is going to be more geared towards individuals looking to cam their Hemi engine, especially if they are in the market for their next modification. Say they have five or $6,000 to spend, and they're trying to figure out if they want to either go with a cam, supercharger, or nitrous. This is really not for the individuals that are forced into doing a camshaft because they had a cam or lifter failure. If you have a cam or lifter failure on your Hemi, which is very common, then also, you know, this video will help you out because we will talk about the price, cost, and what's involved in putting a camshaft in your Hemi. But this video is really geared toward the people that does not have a cam or lifter failure. They have a healthy engine, a low mileage car or truck, and they're just considering this mod because they're looking for their next performance modification for their Hemi. So, camshaft. Most of your performance camshaft kits, that is, you know, these are not off-the-shelf kits or camshaft. This is going to be a custom grind camshaft. You're going to be in the ballpark of around $2,500 to $3,000 roughly just in the parts alone not including the labor. It's very expensive to put a cam in the modern Hemis and pretty much all the modern cars and trucks across the board. Everything's just a little more expensive. There's more tuning involved. It just all around is more expensive. So camshaft alone, you're going to be looking at around a thousand bucks or a little less just for the cam itself. You're also going to need new lifters. Um, mainly the non-MDS lifters or Hellcat lifters, which is going to run you around five or $600 for those. Also, you're going to be upgrading your valve springs because the extra lift the camshaft provides on the valves, on the valves you're going to have to replace the valve springs with a high lift spring. You're also going to be having to change a lot of gaskets. You're going to be replacing head gaskets, timing cover gaskets, valve cover gaskets, valve seals, that sort of thing. Um, so there's more money there. And then you're also going to need a new tune to run this camshaft. It's not going to run on the factory tune anymore. You're going to need custom tuning. That's going to cost you an additional $400 or so for custom tuning. And not to mention labor. If you're not going to install this camshaft yourself, you're going to be paying out labor to get it installed. And on the ballpark range, depending on where you go or who does it, you can probably expect anywhere from, I'd say, $1,500 to, I've been told, up to $2,500 to do a camshaft. It gets pretty expensive to do a camshaft on a Hemi when you start adding everything up. Now, can the regular Joe... Put a camshaft in himself. Absolutely. I did. I am pretty mechanically inclined as I do a lot of mechanic work anyway. But I would base this job off of if you're an individual that can put in a clutch or if you have replaced head gaskets before on other cars or trucks, then you should build in you should be able to install this camshaft yourself. And that will save you a couple thousand dollars easily. Now, the biggest thing on these cam installs is the lifters are mounted underneath the cylinder heads. So you do have to replace, or you do have to 
pull the cylinder heads to get the lifters out and install the new ones. That's why it's so time consuming because it's not like the good old days where you can pull the front cover off and just slap a camshaft in there. If you're going to upgrade these lifters to the better lifters, then you have to pull the cylinder heads. So the next question is going to be, is it worth it? You know, it's a lot of money. Is this mod even worth it? Well, on the average, and I'm going to be very considerate here, you can usually expect 50 to 60 wheel horsepower with a decent uh, performance cam to the tires. Most people with a 5.7 liter Hemi, if they have most of your bolt-ons and a cam, they're usually putting out somewhere on the dyno around 400 to 420 wheel horsepower, give or take. That's for a 5.7. Now, it's not it's not a tremendous amount of power, but it is a big power gain for a 5.7 liter Hemi. You will feel it. You're going to feel a lot more torque. You're going to feel a lot more power in the higher RPMs. Your quarter mile time is definitely going to be faster. Um, again, it's not a huge, huge amount of power, but it is definitely noticeable, and it definitely helps. The biggest thing with a cam is before you do it, you want to make sure you have your game plan of what you plan on doing with this car or truck. Do you plan on adding anything in the future? Because a camshaft is evolved around so much more than just getting a camshaft. You have to think about your stall converter, uh, heads, if you're going to go boost or nitrous or NA. There's a lot to consider about a camshaft before you just go buy a camshaft. Now that we've talked about, you know, how much it costs, how hard it is to put in, let's talk about a couple other mods that you may be comparing this modification against. So, your next mod, like I said, you have a healthy Hemi. There's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing forcing you to put a camshaft or lifter kit into this Hemi yet. So, you're considering this against, say, nitrous, supercharger, or a cam. You have five or six thousand dollars to spend and you're kind of stuck and don't know where to go. My opinion, my honest opinion, I would take the camshaft off the list. I just I just would not do it. If you have a healthy a healthy Hemi and there's nothing forcing you to put a cam in it yet, I would not do a camshaft. I would save that money and put that money towards either nitrous or a supercharger kit. And the reason I say that is because you're going to gain way more horsepower with either nitrous or supercharger than you will with a camshaft. You can always put a camshaft in later. And honestly, sometimes later is better because maybe you have all your mods on this car or truck at that point in time. And now you can better pick out what camshaft you actually need or want. But... Bottom line is you're going to get more power out of supercharging or nitrous and you're going to be close to the same amount of money or ch even way cheaper if you go with nitrous. So a nitrous kit you can do out the door with parts, labor, tuning. You're going to be easy uh, out the door probably about $2,000. You'll be less than that if you install it yourself. Now with a supercharger... Supercharger kits range five to six thousand dollars, give or take, for say like a Pro Charger kit. Now the good thing about a Supercharger kit is they're basically a bolt-on. So comparing it to installing a cam in your Hemi, well, a Supercharger kit bolts on. It's very easy. Anybody should be able to do that. It's just a bracket, bolts, some hardware, pulleys, a belt. Very simple to put on. So. You know, if you're scared to put a cam in your Hemi and you don't have to yet, you don't need one, you know, a supercharger kit may fit you better. You can bolt that on yourself. And then you just have to get some custom tuning to run it or upload the tune that it comes with. And you're going to be really close to the price of that supercharger kit if you're considering a camshaft because of the price of the parts and the price of the labor to put one in. You're going to be very, very close to a supercharger kit. So that's why I say I would take it off the list. 
supercharger kit, you're going to get more out of it. You're going to get more power. You're probably going to enjoy it better. And you can install it. So it's just a win-win. Nitrous, you can install yourself too. It's very easy. It's much cheaper to install a nitrous kit if you have to pay somebody to do it. It's not very hard. A nitrous kit will run you about a thousand bucks plus the accessories. You'll be well under two thousand dollars. Still a lot cheaper than going with a camshaft and you're going to get way more horsepower at a nitrous than you ever would a camshaft. And again you can always add that camshaft later. So like I said this is more for the people considering a camshaft for their next modification and they're not being forced into having to upgrade their camshaft because of a cam or lifter failure. That is my opinion, guys, and I, I hope it helps you or points you in the right direction of what you should do or what you may want to do, but that's how I feel about it. If you don't need a camshaft yet, there's nothing wrong with your car or your truck, I would just save that money and I would go with a supercharger or I would go full bolt-ons or or nitrous or something. I would do something probably beside the camshaft. I would save up for the cam for a later date. That's my opinion. But I hope that helped you guys out. And I think that's going to do it for this video today, guys. So as always, hit that subscribe button, please. Tap that bell button for the notification so you don't miss any future Mopar content. And we will see you guys on the next one.